my dear students now we are going to solve exercise problems so for that in the given figure find the value of x and y and then show that a b parallel to c d actually two lines given no a b c d one of the transversal intersect means they have some angles so here given 50 degree x 130 degree and y so what things we need to prove if the alternative angles are equal then automatically the two lines are parallel we needed to prove the alternative angles that is x and y are equal so we can tell the alternative angles in any line suppose it's parallel they are equal so we are going to use this thing so our aim is to find x and y and also we need to prove x and y are equal so the conditions are given we need to find the value of x and y in the figure given below and then prove that a b parallel to c d from the figure we can conclude that y and 130 degree are vertically opposite angles so y equal to 130 degree next in the line don't write directly x and y are equal we need to prove x and y are equal then only they are parallel so now consider the angles x and 50 degree x and 50 degree form a pair of linear pair they are linear form on the line so the addition is x and 50 addition is that is x plus 50 equal to 180 degree this is given so x equal to 180 minus 130 so x equal to 130 degree so already y equal to 130 degree so both are equal by this thing we can conclude that x and y form a pair of alternative interior angle corresponding to the lines a b and c d therefore we can conclude that x equal to 130 y equal to 130 and a b parallel to c d right now come to second problem in the given figure if a b parallel to c d next c d parallel to e f so one of the transversal intersect on the lines a b c d and e f we have some angles so the angles y and e z here given in the ratio form so y is to e z equal to 3 is to 7 so now we are going to write y equal to value means we need to introduce any one variable in a ratio if you have variable a, I can tell y equal to 3a, where a is a common number of 307, that is in the ratio. And z equal to 7 into a, a is some number. So, we need to find the value of x. We know that lines parallel to the same lines are also parallel. So, ab is parallel to cd means ab is parallel to EF since CD is parallel to EF. So, one to one parallel. Now consider the angle OE equal to 3 into E and EZ equal to 7 into E. Introduce some number that is common number. Now, we know that angles on the same side of the transverse are supplementary that is 180 degree. So x and y already it's parallel no so x plus y equal to 180 degree now we have the relation in y and uh, z so already we know that angles on the same side of the transversal x plus y means here x and z equal to what if x is above the line right side y is below the line left side so he can write on the line a b e z above the line that is x and e z are vertically opposite angle you can write x below the line of e b sorry e f so x and e z are alternatively sorry x and e z are vertically opposite angle so now we can use 
x equal to e z. So finally, substitute x equal to z. So z plus y equal to 180. So already z equal to 7a, y equal to 3a. So 7 plus 3, 10. So 10a equal to 180 degree. So a equal to 180 degree, 18 degree. Since 180 by 10 is 18. Now z equal to 7 into a, 7 into 1, 2, 6. That is 7 into a means 7 into 18, 1, 2, 6. Next y equal to 3a, so 3 into 18, so 54 degree. So, already x plus y equal to 180 degree, x plus y instead of substitute 54 degree. So, x plus 54 degree equal to 180. So, x equal to 180 minus 54. So, finally, x equal to 126, 126 degree. So, our aim is to find x, but the relation is given x and z, sorry, y and z. But already x and z are vertically opposite angles. Substitute instead of z, x, or instead of x, z. Now you have the relation y and z in the form of a. So z equal to 7a, y equal to 3a. Substitute. So finally you have common number a. Using this you can find angles y and z. Already you have the relation x plus y equal to 180. Substitute y value. So you may get x one sir. Now come to third problem. In the given figure, if A B parallel to C D, they are two lengths and also parallel. Next, E F perpendicular to C D, like that given. And angle G E D, that is sum of the angle 90 degree plus G E F is on to 6, like that given. G E D bigger. Now find the angles A G E that is abuse angle that is A G E one of the abuse angle and G E F G E F only inside that is small angle acute angle. Next F G E F G E also we need to find right. So here given. A B parallel to C D and A F perpendicular to C D. Write this thing. The angle of G E D equal to 1 to 6. So finally, we need to prove this thing. Write the three angles. But in the figure G E D equal to 1 to 6. So G E D equal to G E F plus F E D. No, sum of two angles is G E D. So substitute F E D equal to 90 degree. So means G E F equal to 1 to 6 minus 90 degree. So that is 6 degree. So already G E D given. F E D also given. Our aim is to find G E F. First to find G E F. G E F equal to 1 to 6 minus 90. That is remaining 36 degree. Now come to next point. Now A G E and G E D are alternative interior angle. So combination of G E F plus F E D that is 126 degree given now. So G E D and A G E are alternatively interior angle. By this the two angles are equal. So A G E also to 126. Next, we need to find F G E. Now, F E D, F E C. They are 90 degree. Since on the line C D, F E C plus F E D equal to 180. Already F E D equal to 90 degree given. No, so automatically another one. F E C equal to 180 minus 90, so 90 degree. Now F E C equal to sum of F G E F sorry G E F plus G E C. So 90 degree is equal to G E F plus G E C. That is 
g f why we need to use already g f equal to 36 degree we proved this substitute so g e c f e c so for that f e c is 90 degree so g e c equal to 90 minus 36 so 54 degree so in other way how to find uh, directly so already a g e equal to 1 2 6 because g e d a G E or alternatively interior angle. Now on the line AB, A G E plus F G E or linear pair. Sum of the angle two angle is here 180 degree. So 180 minus A G E. So 126 equal to F G E. Using this also you can find. So two F answer also you can give method only different but answers are same right now come to fourth problem in the given figure if p q parallel to st angle p q r 110 degree and or st 130 degree find q r s q r s so angles are given but QRS is not on the line, no. So that's why you are going to introduce one line on the point R. So write the given thing, we need to prove QRS. So we need to draw a line RX that is parallel to the line ST. To get ST is parallel to RX. We know that lines parallel to the same lines are also parallel to each other. Now the three lines are parallel RX, PQ, ST or parallel. So using uh, the condition of uh, the parallel, you can write easily. Now the thing is 130 degree and 110 degree for Q or S Q or X and 110 degree or alternatively interior angle. So now Q or X that is bigger not on the line not uh, on the line R to S. So Q or X, so that is bigger, is 10 degree. We know that angles on the same side of uh, transversal are supplementary. So R S T plus S R X equal to 180 degree. So why we want to prove? Because we need to tell Q R S only. So Q or X, you know that. So our aim is to find S or X. So 130 and S or X are same side of the transversal. So 180 minus 130 is S or X that is 50 degree. So right given or S T plus S or X equal to 180. Substitute or S T 130 degree. So 130 plus angle S R X equal to 180, 180 degree. So now S R X equal to 180 degree minus 130, so 50 degree. Now the bigger is 110 degree. So 110 minus 50 is Q R X. That is given. Now Q R X equal to S R X plus Q R S. So 110 degree equal to 50 plus Q R S. So QRS equal to 110 minus 50, so 60 degree. So therefore we can conclude that QRS equal to 60 degree. Using this we may solve this problem. Thank you.